This is a Traxxas Nitro Slash. It's a 50 mile per hour, $349, ready to run Nitro. When Traxxas says they're the fastest name in radio control, they can bag that claim up. This is the realest Nitro in any racetrack. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order. In this video, we will be doing the first start and break-in on this brand new Traxxas Nitro Slash. This is directly from A-Main. There's a link in the description to this video. These are $349, in fact, cheaper by about $35 than the actual Traxxas manufacturer's website. Highly surprising. A-Main Hobbies, they're the real guy. You know what I'm saying? Go there, pick yourself up one. There'll be a link in the description to this video to a couple colors that are currently in stock right now. Traxxas Nitro Slash, how you doing? If I was you, I'd be jealous of us too, cause you're ugly as hell! This is not a complete 100% unboxing because obviously it's already out of the box. I just couldn't wait. I had to take a look at it. But let's take a look at the box that you actually do get. Traxxas has some of the best boxing in the industry. I guarantee you, if Traxxas fought Mike Tyson and they were on an airplane, hey, 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 hey. the Traxxas would not get hey, punched Mike, out like that guy did on the airplane. Mike Tyson had enough and he, he's throwing lefts and rights. You know, Mike Tyson hit that switch. He turned savage mode. JetBlue, net flight. My boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson. Turn that way. Yeah, he got fucked up. This is the blue model. As I said before, they claim a top speed of 50 miles per hour. Keep in mind, this is with the optional 17 tooth clutch belt. This comes with a 16 tooth. So you know what speed you're gonna get? You're going to get 46 miles per hour. I've already tested this in a previous nitro slash video on the side of the box we have a chassis layout and we'll talk about that once we remove the body this is basically an extended nitro rustler chassis but it features a very nice 3.3 engine some of the other racing features we have the magnum transmission regular drivetrain oil filled shocks as expected and short course tires what's great is they also include a whole bunch of accessories including the easy start system and the battery and charger so honestly, all you really need when you take this thing out of the box is just nitro fuel and batteries. So you know what? Let's take the body off. We're going to the club. This is what you get. Brand new Traxxas Nitro Slash. Obviously, it's built on a short course platform. You could tell because these are classic slash short course tires. What's great about these is well, they have fairly good traction and they have very long life characteristics in terms of wear. Let's check out the suspension out of the box. I always like to do a little suspension test. Okay, dampening is extremely smooth. Ride height, I would say this chassis has a ton of very usable ride height. In the front, the dampening is also quite great. Feels like a little bit um, less dampened in the front, which is what you want, you know, when you're absorbing those jumps. The chassis, it's a full aluminum plate chassis, similar to the Nitro Rustler, but of course, just longer. The good thing about Traxxas is, guys, not only is it the realest one in the room, and you really understand how great it is, when you look at an Arma, how you doing? It comes with a pre-oiled air filter, single speed transmission, because sometimes one speed, they hit 50 miles per hour, that's actually all you need. We have a highly protected receiver box, fuel tank mounted directly center in the chassis, I've driven these cars before guys and they hook up extremely well, almost no torque steer, which is quite rare for a highly powerful, high revving two wheel drive car. If you know anything about two wheel drive, you understand you're pretty much always gonna have torque steer. But you know what? Traxxas got you covered on that because they're the realest ones in the room. They got the Traxxas stability management system. We're gonna take a look at the rest of this box because guess what? Mike Tyson isn't here and we're free to do whatever you want. Oh man, look at all these goodies that Traxxas gave us. So 
some of these goodies just legit just fell out. Very usable and good quality Traxxas top fuel bottle. Good quality bottle, guys. Good quality. We have the Traxxas radio. This is a pretty good radio. Has a good signal range and you have adjustment of the gyro directly from the radio here. So you can control the amount of Traxxas stability management that you have. But on a two-wheel drive, you want a good amount. Always nice to see what manufacturers include with their nitros, you know? We have the six cell battery for the easy start system. Highly useful. You don't even need a pull starter for this. Stick it in this. I will charge this up in a little bit, but if you don't have a charger, they include a Traxxas charger here for you. Of course, this is like a car charger. So I guess they're expecting you to go outside and charge it in your car, but whatever. Sometimes that's what they do, you know? We have body washers. You put these on right here to the body post and the body absorbs a lot of impact. We have Traxxas air filter oil, which is a really nice touch because guys, they've already oiled this air filter for you. Look how nice it is. Actually a good amount of oil in there I could see. They did a good job. We have a good starter tool set. We have shock spacers, a zip tie, some numbers, you know, number one. We have an ad for Traxxas top fuel. We don't care about that. We have some stickers over here. The realest stickers in the room. And we have an owner's manual. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they include a brand new glow plug with washer. This is a really nice touch. I honestly don't think any manufacturer includes spare glow plugs. These on their own are like 11 or $12. And this is a $350 RC, guys. So Traxxas, they didn't even have to give that to you, but they did. Like I always say, make sure you all read this owner's manual. You're gonna learn a lot of information here. I've been getting a lot of questions about gear mesh. How do you set gear mesh? You know what, rather than me going through all of it, read the manual, look at these pictures, take some notes. And then you're gonna be running rich and loud in no time, my dudes. We got a couple haters about the Traxxas Electronics. Well, I'm here to tell you, they're not bad. Look at that. That's a fast steering servo, my dudes. I don't know how much faster you want. That seems pretty fast to me. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, which nitro should I get? Well, I have a proposition for you. You're probably either gonna get the realest nitro in the room or the other one also known as the Traxxas Nitro Rustler. This is just a good size comparison from a top-down view for you guys. So you understand how truly large the Nitro Slash actually is. Now, if I remove the Nitro Rustler body, this one is modified, it has a 3.3 motor. I've done a lot of work to it. In terms of speed, the Nitro Rustler will do 50 stock. This will do 50 with a one tooth larger clutch belt, but you gotta keep in mind, the top speed even I myself got, and I run fairly rich and loud, was 46 miles an hour. In terms of braking, I'm just going to stick to heat cycles. We're not gonna get all scientific and National Geographic documentary over here. We're not gonna do the Novorossi high RPM kill your engine braking method, where your engine will do about one gallon of fuel and then you'll need a rebuild. We're not gonna do that, guys. We're just gonna do a start, I'm going to monitor the engine temperatures, make sure they don't really go over about 220 to 30 degrees. Do about half a tank, maybe a third of a tank of fuel, let it cool down 15 minutes, and keep repeating these heat cycles up until about maybe eight heat cycles. That would be about, um, you know, three to four tanks. Traxxas really says they recommend that you drive around like up to 25 to 50% throttle, you know, during like tank, uh, after tank four. But the reality is, you're still supposed to once in a while, you know, even though I'm saying idle, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to once in a while give it some throttle blips like this just to clear the system out. I'm ready to prime it now. Keep in mind, you always wanna have a flathead screwdriver ready. You never know when you're gonna have to adjust the high speed needle, the idle set screw or the low speed needle. It's prime job time. Plug the exhaust and pull the trigger. All right, that should be fully primed. Now I didn't talk during that prime, I don't know if you noticed it, but the other day I was talking to my buddy, Barista Craig, and Barista Craig goes, 
man, how do I know when this motor is actually primed? I go to him, well, you're going to hear a noticeable sound change when fuel is actually entering the motor. And I think you guys heard it. So I'm going to play this clip again. Listen to how the tone of the motor changed when fuel was already entering the motor. It took about a second after. All right, you heard that. So that's how you know. If you want to do another method, Barista Craig suggested about a second after you visually observe fuel. The problem is here, it's a little bit tough to observe fuel because we have heat shrink tubing on this fuel line. But I know I did see fuel, but I know for sure that I heard fuel in the motor. So now guys, the first fire is a little bit difficult, but it should fire up. We're going to use the included easy start glow plug wire, but just in case if you want, have your own ready. We're going to try this system out how it's meant to be. The realest system in the room. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. It's going to fire up. It might not be fully fine. So you know what? If it doesn't fire up like this, nothing wrong with doing a little bit more priming. All right. Man, okay, the tune was actually probably a little bit too low. So, it's just so rich, it tends to shut off sometimes. But guys, if you're asking, well, what do I do now? You fire it up again, and then you adjust the tune slightly. Maybe we need a little higher idle speed. We're gonna see. Trial and error, that's what you want. Let's fire it up again. Okay guys, the first heat cycle is done. That took about maybe like uh, eight minutes. I really don't like to wait that long because it takes forever. We're missing some fuel here. I'm going to let it cool down about 15 minutes. We'll do another heat cycle. Keep in mind, you can't kill the Traxxas. Nitro, slash. What matters is you get a good low enough idle there not to overheat the engine. A lot of people break these in and they haven't even checked the idle set screw. This one I checked, I made sure the idle gap was correct. All of these things I'm talking about, guys, I'm not going to go into in-depth details. Make sure you read the Traxxas manual. It'll explain to you the terms I'm using. There's a glossary in there. There's a lot of pictures in there. And never forget, the Traxxas Nitro Slash is always the realest one in the room. And to appreciate a good RC, you first have to understand that there is armor. Let's fire it up again. Don't worry about this guys, it's just fish sticks, you know? I'm a little hungry, I'm gonna have to eat these as I do the break-in. How, how you do your break-ins, you know? It's how it is. Throttle 
I did about two heat cycles just now. That was about one tank of fuel as expected. Everything went great, you know? Only minor tuning adjustments there to compensate for some of the high RPM, but that's that's really nothing. As soon as you get about a uh, quart through these motors, they really perform quite fantastic. I've done a couple heat cycles off camera. It is time to drive this thing around a little bit. I will try to go about 25 to 50% throttle as Traxxas recommends, this is very good. You could still do a proper heat cycle like that. This will be brake in tank three and we're gonna keep this to 25 to 50% throttle. Let's fire up and hit the street. <laughs> You just met the rearless nitro in the room. How you doing? Get one of these $350 at A main, make nitro great again, buy more nitros, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Uh, tasted like Losey motorcycle. Huh, I'm allergic. But I'm also hungry for some action. We got a T-Bax. Star. Her name is Jenny. Ooh, bitch don't have no panties. Ooh, I'm Steph Curry. When I hit the three, I hit. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.